What is up guys, time for a change, aka Zach here, we are looking at, as you see in the title and the description down below, we are looking at Game Informer, so we're going to look at the ratings, the uh, anything do for the game. Oh, there's a new details on Infinity Wards. Bold reimagine Im imagining Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I guess that's the second one or something like that. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So we're gonna look at this and see what there is. Okay, Star Wars, eh. Show some love. Hmm. Wow. Ooh, I gotta say, this artwork is nice. All that artwork. Insane artwork. Shout out to Game Informer. You guys keep us updated with the latest games and latest news on games, and thank you. And I get this from GameStop. Shout out to GameStop. Our GameStop sucks. So, uh, let's see what else. How Ubisoft has kept Assassin's Creed Odyssey alive. I really, I played the first like first part, and I really didn't like it. Why? I know there's going to be a lot of haters out there, but I didn't like it because of, I don't know, it just was different to me. Like, I played Assassin's Creed Origins, that game was phenomenally put together. The whole story was phenomenally put together. So, uh, yeah, I just, I really didn't like Odyssey, that just... I still have it. I still haven't played the whole thing yet. It's just... I don't know. I gotta get into it. What the... F flippin' Flappy Jack is that? What is that? What the hell is that? Mastery level, story creator, create your and share your own quest. It sucks because I don't have online. <laughs> <laughs> um, the logo, Luminary. Hey, what, isn't there a, a guy named 8-Bit on, on here? On YouTube? Right there? Where is it? 8-Bit. 8-Bit do. Hmm. Okay. Those aren't that bad. Uh, there is a new Nintendo Switch coming out, I guess. Releasing the Switch Lite. Okay. Those are the Switch Lights. Like, come on. Come on. Switch lights? It's like you're talking about a Nintendo DSi. For people, the new generation now, y'all don't probably don't know what we're talking about. In my time, we had a Game Boy. And then it came out. With uh, Nintendo DS, Nintendo DS. I need Nintendo DXL, Nintendo Wii, and a whole bunch. Like, back when I was like five, six, seven years old, Excuse me. Yeah, that was the Game Boy. The Game Boy was the greatest. You have nothing to worry about. Uh, Lifeline of the Living Games. Here, it's the Night of the Walking Dead. No, it's the Lifeline of the Living Games. Okay, No Man's Sky. Okay, I didn't play it, but I really want to. 
And it came out back in 2016. It's been that long. Holy shit. Alright. But, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the uh, No Man's Sky. Because I want to know. Now we're getting into it. That was an A. Now, a B, B plus was... The initial release was May 24, 2016, was Overwatch. Since its launch in 2016, Overwatch has consistently given players reason to move the play board. Okay. Oh, God. Everyone knows, I'm not, everyone knows about this game. Everyone plays it. There's people that are mastered it because they build, 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 and just cheat. I hate the game. I literally do. Why? Because it's just not my type of game. Like PUBG, I don't mind. I never played it, but I don't mind. I'll watch it, but I, can't, I will not play it. I cannot play this game. I am sorry to all you people out there. But this game got an A+, and we all know it would. Fortnite. I'll input something here to be like boo or something. No, I'm just kidding. I'll do a mixed reaction. Um, we all know that I was gonna make make a plus rating. Like, come on, we all knew that. Red Dead Online initial release was November twenty seventh, two thousand eighteen. That got a C plus, and I would expect it maybe a B minus. Why? Because a lot of people were downing it, and a lot of people had said there was like bugs and stuff in the game, so a lot of people don't really like playing it. Rainbow Six Siege initial release was uh, December first, two thousand fifteen. That got a B plus. I heard that game was pretty good. I heard that game was pretty good. Star Wars Battlefront Two, C. I could see it. I played Battlefront 1. Fallout 76. B minus. Wait, B minus? That was. Oh, the initial release for Star Wars was Battle. In Battlefront. For Battlefront 2 was November 17th, 2017. Fallout 76 initial release November 14th, 2018. That gotta be minus. I take what I said back a little bit ago. That should have done better because they put it up as well. The Sims 4. Come on, September two, 2nd, 2014. Now you just base it in as a B. <sighs> Initial release. Grand Theft Auto Online for you people out there. Initial release. October 1st, 2013. That got an A-. We all should know that Grand Theft Auto needs a freaking A+. Plus. Instead of freaking Fortnite. Apex Legends. February 4th, 2019. Initial release. Hey, there's players unknown. PUBG. Uh, but Apex Legends got a C, which I understand. Holy crap, sacks of shit stains. Assassin's Creed Odyssey initial release date October 5th, 2018. That got a B plus. A B plus. Well, I could see it, but like I said, I don't I'm not big on it. I like Origins because it, it it was a downright story on how the assassins came about. So let's read this out because I really want to get into it. And we'll see where it leads. Okay. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Initial release, October 5th, 2018. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a single-player experience with a clear ending, but Ubisoft has taken a games-as-a-service approach to support it. Additional quests, new game plus, and quality of life changes like raised level caps and cosmetic customization we uh, whoops, uh, have helped players stay immersed. A new introduced story creator... Let's the community decide, design, share, and play their own quest. Plus, an educational discovery tour mode like the one in Origins is on the way this fall. All of this comes free with the base game, 
but players who purchase the season pass can get even more with access to two episodic DLC arcs that are especially important to the series' wider lore. That was from Joe Juba. Wow. So that's why. Unfortunately, I do not have online, and I am poor. I work for a living, support my family, as you saw in the last video. I gotta get internet. I want, I want, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see if I can get that. Oh, oh my God! How can Assassin's Creed? Well, obviously, but still. Next one is PUBG. PUBG. Release date, initial release date was December 20th, 2017. That got a B minus. I would have thought with PUBG and Fortnite, they would be going back and forth. Like, literally, back and forth. Because PUBG was, is big. Fortnite is big. So, think about it. Wouldn't you think that they were close? Because what Fortnite was what? What was Fortnite? An A plus. This was a, uh, PUBG was B minus. Yeah, so that should have been like together. I don't know why they rated it like that, but I still believe that it should be close together. And they were on the same. Yeah, Fortnite came out in September of seventeen, and this came out, and PUBG came out December of seventeen. Well, I don't know. But, uh, okay, so the next one is Division 2. I got it. The next one is Division 2. If my eyes are chopped off, I'm sorry. I'm recording from my phone. My bad. But the Division 2, I had it, and I guess it was only online, but I figured out a way to, like, you know, twist it to get on, on single player. Okay, the initial release date for... Uh, the Division 2 is March 15th, 2019. That got a B plus. Expected. Yo, everyone was talking crap about this game. Anthem, the initial release date, February 22nd, 2019. Imagine how much money they tried to put in there. And guess what their rating is for Anthem. I feel sorry for you players that play Anthem, but y'all got a big F. A big F, like, come on. Ooh, we all played this Path of Exile, that got an A. That game is a really good RPG game. Basically like Diablo, Dungeon Siege, uh, what else is there? Basically like that. If you played Dungeon Siege on the computer, I think it was the first one. Yeah. Yeah, it was the first one because when you started at the farm. Yeah, it was on PC. Me and my dad, my dad beat it like three, four times. I was halfway there and then we just lost our computer for some ungodly reason. And never seen the game again. I was pissed. Because I really loved that game and my dad got me into RPG games. That's how everything happened. And then he taught me a lot of other games like poker, you know, casino games. But, yeah. That was pretty good. Okay, so, next one. That was, The Path of Exile was uh, October 23rd, 2013. I just played that last, last year. Wow. Um, Battlefield four, uh, 5. Battlefield 5 got a D. A D. How successful Battlefield was? They got a D, that's insane. Okay, Dota, if I'm saying it right, D-O-T-A, Dota 2. Initial release date was July 9th, 2013. That got a B minus. We all loved Hitman. Hitman 2 initial release. November 13th, 2018. An A minus. Congratulations. Congratulations. Counter-Strike Global Force, these are all still trending ones, too. Uh, still trending, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, 
Elder Scrolls Online, EVE Online, League of Legends, Minecraft, obviously, Mortal Kombat 2, oh wow. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV, Re Realm Reborn, For Honor, Hearthstone, Rocket League, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Warframe. I played Warframe, that's not a bad game either. Those are still trending. See if these initial release date got a C initial release date. Wow. No, initial release date March 20th, 2018 got a C. Destiny 2. We all played Destiny. Is that the main one then? Okay. Uh, Destiny 2 got a B. Initial release date was September 6th, 2017. And the ultimate of ultimatums, the last page they always save them. Best for last. World of Warcraft initial release date November 23rd, 2004. 15 years later, this freaking game still got it going with an A freaking plus, man. An A plus. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I am so freaking hyped for that. that 15 years later, and you still got that? Still got an A plus. Come on. Wow. Well. Let's look at the back. Let's see what these guys have for the ratings as a nine, but like a. You know, what I mean, what you see in here. Look at Heroes Trails and Gold Coast. Steel 3. Hmm. NHL 20. You gotta admit, NHL 20 has insane graphics. It looks like the same freaking, it looks like the same freaking, uh, 